Hi everybody, this is Arrow Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your FPS in the new Conan Exile game. Uh, so we will use the, the configuration setting for this game because you can uh, change uh, more options in those uh, config ini than the uh, game setting inside of the game. So let's start with the game user settings. Uh, you need to um, to find the drive that you install your game. So for me, it's F. Uh, after that, you need to go to Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Conan Exile, Conan Sandbox, Saved, Config, Windows, No Editor. After that, first one you need to change, it's Game. Game, you don't have a lot of option over there. The first one that you need to remove, it's Motion Blur. You will gain three to four FPS over there, just put zero. And it, for me, it's it's a bad effect. I really don't like it. And you will gain more FPS. Also, the FOV. Uh, if you more, if you increase your FOV, you need to render more in front of you. So for sure, you will lose FPS. So uh, you can down go downgrade your FOV if you want. Uh, but uh, me for now, it's by default. Uh, I will do more tests with that because right now I have my 60 FPS, no problem. So. Uh, it's maybe a last resort after all the game setting that you will change. If you still don't have your 60, maybe you should lower your FOV. Uh, I have to say the game is not well optimized right now. It's running on Unreal Engine 4. Uh, when you are in the desert, it's kind of like I can have my 80 FPS when I play at eye. But uh, when you see water, grass, uh, trees, it's not well optimized. I went to 30. So that's why now I need to change some uh, game setting. To, uh, I did some tests and I see that uh, you they, they struggle with the shadows, they struggle too with the effects. So I will show you what change, what to change. So game user setting over here. First of all, shadow quality. Make sure that you're putting this at zero. You will gain uh, ultra to zero. You will gain 13 FPS. So that's a lot. Also, effect quality and foliage. Uh, you can put one in even zero if you have like a, I don't know, mid-range computer or low computer and maybe a laptop. Uh, with the effect and foliage ultra to one, uh, you will gain five to seven FPS for each one. So here you can gain a total of 13. Uh, I have to say here in the game, it's weird. Low equals zero, one equal medium, okay? And three is ultra, two is high. So after changing this, um texture quality and granite texture quality this one doesn't affect too much your fps if you have a lot of vram so for an example uh on my video card i have 8 gig but uh i was playing the game in full hd and not everything at ultra and the game went to 6 gig so that's that's a lot for <laughs> a game because i'm just playing in full hd so if we have a video card with 4 gig, 3 gig or less than that, make sure that your texture quality, you're going at 2, 1 or 0, depending on how many gig that you have on your video card. Very important because you will lose a lot of performance if you are you don't have a, um, the minimum of gig uh, when you ask, uh, I don't know, for a ultra texture in the game. So really important over there. Post-process quality. This one, really important too. Uh, each bracket, you can win 3 to 4 FPS. So uh, just do your tests. It seems that the game run uh, better on NVIDIA card. Uh, so for this one, look at your, if you have an AMD, just test it, put it at zero and test it because it's weird. Uh, uh, I got more FPS with two than one. So, and I just update my driver too. I'm using the latest AMD driver. So kind of weird for the post process, but uh, just do your test on your own. Uh, finally, the last one, the view distance quality, very, very, very important. You can gain a lot of FPS, ultra to low, you can gain 20 to 22 FPS, but this one, again, you will not see f very further, like in front of you. So, uh, you should maybe test medium and see, uh, how many FPS that you have with all the shadows, effect, foliage change. Uh, but for sure it's a big one, but, uh, it's a pain in the ass when you lower this one. So. Uh, NTLE is in quality. This one, uh, I'm playing at I. Uh, you can gain three to four FPS for each bracket, but for me, NTLE is in. It's a very important um, feature in a game. Not feature, but a, a graphic option. Because honestly, at low, 
uh, the game really suck the visual quality the graphic I really don't like it so uh, try a minimum medium so put one if you really struggle with the FPS and you can put uh, more if you uh, if you have more than uh, than 60 so the last one is the uh, resolution quality uh, this one match when you have 100 it match with your resolution that you put over there okay your resolution X and Y uh, you can downscale your game keep the same re resolution but downscale the game this one is pretty bad <laughs> honestly if you go for uh, lower than 80 you will see like crazy pixel in your game so this one is very like last resort okay so uh, that's about it uh, the second part is make sure that your VSync is at false because you need to see more than 60 if uh, if you're doing your tests and also make sure that you don't have any frame limit here so it needs to be zero 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 the other thing you can test uh, it's the uh, simultaneous high quality hair I did some tests over there not sure what is doing right now but I see a gain of 2 FPS not sure if uh, again it's re related or not uh, this one uh, just make sure that you have a backup backup if you change it because uh, maybe you can break the game with uh, if they release like new patches and stuff like that so uh, just so you guys know that uh, you can change the uh, air uh, quality the air lot too so um, yeah just do your testing by your own so that's about it guys if you have any question post me your rig cpu gpu ram and i will try to uh, help you the best that i can for your uh, settings and don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you